Hi guys, it's David at Hamble Trekker Channel. How are you doing today? Today, I'm gonna to be making a project that is to create wood stain. Now, it's a, a color for wood using the chaga fungus and plain ordinary water. This is a traditional Scandinavian technique. So let's get into it. To make the stain, you need the chaga fungus. And the chaga fungus is a parasitic fungus that grows on the birch tree. If you want to go back and revise finding chaga, recognising it, collecting it, I've got a couple of videos on that and I'll put a card on the screen so you can go back and check that out. But once you've collected it, then you need to more or less roughly grind it up. And this is a traditional Scandinavian technique for making a wood stain. It's going to give you a stain that depending on exactly how you make it, how long you uh, take the process through, what parts of the chaga you use is going to go from light brown to dark brown to uh, very nearly black and it's only got two components and that is the chaga fungus and plain ordinary water we stain wood for two primary reasons number one that is to just change its color for cosmetic reasons if you just want to have a darker piece of wood from a lighter piece of wood or if you're making something from multiple pieces of wood that have got a slightly different shade if you stain all of them they'll all end up the same shade in there for they'll all like they come from the same piece of wood uh, secondary reason that is uh, if you buy commercially bought stains if you use exterior stains they will actually preserve the wood and the same with chaga this stain will actually preserve your wood if you're going to be leaving it outside the recipe is very simple you need three to four deciliters of ground chaga and then three to four litres of water you boil it all up the chaga mixed with three to four litres of water uh, for a long time until you get down to just half a litre of chaga and chaga water basically now chaga stain and that's your stain ready to go if you want that in old money three to four litres that's like six to eight pints and so you then you want about one to two cups of ground chaga I've got a three litre pot, so I'm going to be on the, uh, the lower level of that three to four litre recipe. Put it all in. Keep an eye on it. Wait for it to boil down. boiled now for two and a half hours approximately and I'll just show you the resulting mixture so you can see the remains you can see the remains of the chaga in there at the bottom and the approximately one litre or one pint of hopefully is going to be some great wood dye wood stain to get out all the juices I'm just gonna make sure we get everything out as we can as much as we can I'm just gonna squeeze it down then you can see your color of the stain we've made I just said we got one litre out of it, didn't we? That's a misspoke. I meant to say we've got half a litre, hopefully. So now I'm going to sieve out the bits and just get the stain. Yep, about half a litre, one pint. I have a piece of pine here. I've just been testing already on it. When it was halfway through the cook, or during the, the course of the cook, I was testing to see how dark it was getting. 
Well now we'll find out how dark we've got or what colour we've got with the final result. So this isn't going to be the true colour because it's still wet, but it's got let me spread it out a bit. It's gonna be this was the colour, it will be closer to this colour when it dries, but all somewhere between here and here it's going to be when it dries. So it's going to be basically a, a light and medium oak stain on it. Actually it's absorbed very nicely. It doesn't just run off so it's got a nice absorption rate. You can see it's gone through the, the surface into the, the grain of the wood very nicely. Yeah, quite pleased with that result nice little light oak stain light to medium oak stain it's going to be when it was cooking up I prepared this piece of alder it's a hardwood and this is going to be a nice handy walking staff or walking stick for me but it's a bit pale so I'm going to stain this with my chagger stain so then I've got my alder chagger stained walking stuff. This is a bit green so it's not perfect for absorbing the stain. When you're doing work around the, the fireplace like this, the bush camp, you don't often, you don't always have the chance to Get perfect materials we'll see how it goes see how much of the grain this brings out and how it dries it's going to need to be sanded after applying the stain when the stains dried most water-based stains need to like to be sanded especially if you put it on a roughish piece of wood I finished this piece of wood just with my pocket knife or my belt knife but this should give it a nice color nice rustic brown oakish look and it's also going to protect it from the elements make it last hmm. didn't take long actually it goes a long way this stain Nice. Pleasing so far. Nice colour. And yes, it does colour your fingers, but it does wash out easily. And um, because it's just chagger and water, completely organic, it's not going to hurt you. Right, saving the stain. You can save the stain, pour it in an old jam jar oh. jobs are good fast forward 24 hours by the power of YouTube here I am to show you the resulting colour samples from the stain here's my test piece of pine and we have here Three coats, no coats, and one coat. So with one coat, we got a oak color. With three coats, it actually came up a walnut color. And you can see the comparison to the bare natural pine there. Had very good coverage, um, good adherence on application.
quite an impressive stain for two basic ingredients. And an interesting variation in actual tone of colour, depends on the coats you put on it. And this is the, put it back so you can see it, the walking staff that I was working on. I roughly stripped it with my belt knife, so it didn't have an even stripping on the, on the wood, and it was slightly green. So there is variation in how the stain has taken because of the sub-level of bark that was still attached in certain areas. You see the colour, this has got three coats on it. Due to the fact it was green, I did need to put three coats on. Probably if this was a uh, dried piece of wood, an aged piece of wood. I could have got this colour just in, in two coats, I believe. And I wrapped it with fishing net line to give it a little handle there. Pimp it up a little bit and put a half round nail in the foot to give it a little protection from wearing out. Interesting, easy little project to make with completely natural wood stain and a simple pole to make a hiking staff which is now going to be my companion on many hikes thanks for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it i need to thank my good friend Sirvid, who has actually taught me this method of making chaga wood stain uh, if you're a subscriber thanks for being a subscriber you know you keep this channel going and make it what it is today if you're not yet a subscriber but you have enjoyed this video please consider hitting the subscribe button if you've liked the video hit the like button if you've got something to say, get down in the comments section, leave me a comments. I read them all and I try and answer as many as I can. Share the video, that helps the channel grow. And until next time, take it easy.